How Chicago's housing market fared through the third quarter? We're going to tell you. It's my Q3 Chicago 2024 housing market update. And coming to you from my garden. That's right, it's October and it's gorgeous, so we're doing this outside. Let's hope the plane noise over uh, over top is not too bad today. We're going to dive in. We had 20,074 residential units to sell uh, through the first three quarters of this year. How's that rank? Well, let's go category by category. We're going to pop some graphics up here on the screen for you. Our condos, we were down a little over 2% in our units, but our average sales price through the third quarter is up a little over 7%. Single family homes also doing well. That value is up almost 12%, but units down just under 6%. And our two to four units are shining light this year. Uh, average sales price up 7%, units up just under 2%, um, meaning we had more sales of those through the year this year than last year. So how's our inventory faring? Well, through the third quarter, through the end of September, that is, we're down uh, just about 11%, which is about where we were at the end of August. And as you remember through the year, we've been kind of steadily coming down, right? We started the year where our inventory was off about 19 or 20%. So we've continued to make gains, kind of flattened out here. The month supply of inventory is a real interesting stat right now though. For single family homes, we're at three, um, and we've been falling about a 10th of a point over the last two months. Our condos have been literally flat, a 2.8 month supply of inventory all year. Our multifamilies, again, our shining star, they're at 3.8 right now. Again, when we say month supply of inventory, if you've watched me for a while, you probably already know this. So fast forward if you like. Um, but if you haven't uh, watched me for a while, that means how much uh, inventory do we have for sale and how long would it take to sell through what we have? We started the year at 4.4 months for our multifamily. Now we're down to 3.8. So moving down nicely. Now let's turn our attention to the luxury market. We had our highest sales price of the year, which was also our higher sales price of the third quarter in the city of a single family home at 1932 North Berlin. You probably saw a lot of press on this because this house was on the market for seven and a half years. It closed for $15.25 million in August. Year to date, we've seen an increase of 17% uh, in terms of the number of million plus single family homes to sell. And for our condos and townhomes, an increase of 14.7%. So high-end market doing really, really well. Our highest suburban sale of the quarter was a house uh, at 660 Prospect in Winneka for 8.5 million. Our highest condo sale in the city in the third quarter was a penthouse over at 1500 North Lake Shore. Also was on the market for quite some time, 520 days. Um, that was 7.7 .7 million for an 8,000 square foot property. Doesn't beat our highest condo year to date, which is the penthouse over at 65 East Goethe at 9.3 million, but still up there on the list. And lastly, in this third quarter update, I'm going to leave you guys with a couple of other bright spots that we saw in our third quarter housing market. Of course, we saw interest rates pop down uh, in August. And then in September, the Fed announced that they were cutting rates overall. Um, really good news, spurred a lot of activity. Uh, and of course, Michael Jordan's house in Highland Park finally sold after 13 years on the market. Miracles do happen. With that, I'm Scott Curseal. Remember to like, comment, and share. DM me all of your real estate questions, and we'll see you next time as we keep you informed about Chicago's housing market.